name is Floyd Grace. I'm a feng shui practitioner, teacher, and consultant. This video is about the basics of feng shui. It will teach you how to begin bringing harmony, health, and happiness into your life immediately. Feng shui is an ancient art. Literally, it means wind and water. Wind captures the essence of the unseen spirit. Water gives life to form. Feng shui is used as a means towards an end. It is neither a science nor a religion, but an art that is based on the laws of nature. Whether or not you choose to consciously use feng shui principles in your life, they already affect you. I've seen people literally turn their lives around using feng shui principles, and I've seen people who wouldn't use them for love or money. And oddly enough, that's what feng shui is about. Bottom line, health and happiness, love and money. Let's get started with an overview of this video. Perfect Feng Shui teaches the absolute basics used in all the schools of Feng Shui. It shows the aspects of Qi, which is energy, so that you'll understand why Qi energy, Yin and Yang balance, the five elements, and the eight directions make up the foundation of Feng Shui. You'll also see how these different aspects of energy affect your environment and your life experience. Let's begin with the basics of energy. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started with the most basic element of feng shui, energy. Everything is energy. It is the core of physical reality. Science has proved that all things from the chair you're sitting in to the food you eat are made of energy. Energy radiates itself. If you're very sensitive, you can feel that energy. The same way you can feel when someone's in a good or bad mood. Knowing the impact energy makes in our lives, doesn't it make sense that we would want to use the energy around us in a positive and beneficial manner? The same ancient principles of energy underlay all the traditional arts of China, including traditional Chinese medicine with acupuncture and herbology, the martial arts, including Tai Chi and Qigong, and traditional Feng Shui. When you understand these principles, you can use them naturally to attain all those things that Feng Shui has to offer. Health, harmony, happiness, love, and prosperity. The ancient sages who discovered Feng Shui some 5,000 years ago understood the implications of energy and how the energy of a place could affect your well-being. By understanding the subtle energy waves flowing around your body and environment, you can literally arrange your home and office in ways that help you reach your goals. Universal energy is called Qi. It flows through our planet as well as our solar system. It is affected by the landscape of our planet, including man-made structures. In turn, this cosmic chi affects the places we live and work. Homes and buildings of all types contain their own chi, which flows through doors, windows, and even walls. Buildings even hold on to old chi. How structures are placed, built, and designed creates different types of chi. The power of chi. Certain circumstances create certain types of chi. When the circumstances are negative, bad things tend to happen to the people living there. Recognizing and correcting the negative chi fixes that. Be aware of negative energy. Such things as artificial lighting, synthetic fabrics, and poisonous building materials create very bad chi. These things negatively influence the energy of the occupants and could cause serious illness. Watch out for stagnant areas. See Qi is created by dark rooms, cluttered rooms that trap and suffocate energy, and dark, damp rooms, often smelling bad or rancid. Air out those rooms, get rid of the clutter, and place illuminating enhancements into those dark areas. Sha Qi is fast-moving energy that causes destruction because as it passes, it pulls away your beneficial chi and destroys your energetic infrastructure, producing illness. 
straight lines like long hallways, stairs and rails, and straight paths also create Sha Chi. To fix these areas, you need to slow the energy down using furniture, curtains, plants, and artwork. Items that help soften the areas. When the chi of an environment is very bad, I advise against living there. If this is not an option, I search for proper cures to protect the energy. Here is a situation where electrical transformers threaten the inhabitants of this house. Jack and his wife are not willing to move, yet in their immediate neighborhood, four people have died of different cancers in the past four years. In this situation, I use 12-inch copper stakes to ground the EMFs. Copper is a highly efficient transmitter and is perfect for grounding many different types of chi. Another example was at an office of another client whose business was suffering due to her proximity to the Sha Chi from an adjacent freeway. Again, I used copper stakes around the perimeter of her office to deflect the bombarding Sha Chi. We'll discuss more ways to fix negative Chi situations during the course of this video. Sheng Chi is a harmonious balanced Chi. It nurtures as it gently meanders through an environment. This is an ideal Chi. Cultivating it reinforces your spirit as it encourages health harmony and happiness in your life. Yin and Yang energy. Yin and Yang are relative terms. Everything in the universe is either Yin or Yang Qi. Balancing Yin and Yang energy is the fundamental concern of Feng Shui. Yin and Yang are opposites that continually attract each other. Commonly, when you're experiencing a more Yang period, you naturally seek out Yin things and vice versa. Such is the summer when it's very hot. This is very yang. You seek the comfort of coolness, very yin. In this way, everything is a cycle that constantly seeks to balance itself through change. Things constantly change. Nature itself forms a yin-yang cycle, starting with birth, which epitomizes yang energy, and moving through growth, still yang, into maturation, which is the balance in the life cycle, then into decline, where things start to become more yin, and finally into death, which is the epitome of yin energy. All living things are a part of this cycle, plants, animals, even land. Everything is either a little more yin or a little more yang, but nothing is completely yin or yang. This is an important point to understand because everything in the universe is composed of yin and yang energy. Take for instance a tall redwood tree which is very yang because of its strength and shape. However, all woods are not necessarily yang. Softer, pliable wood like bamboo is very yin in its nature. So, while wood is very yang by its mere composition, certain woods are very yin energy dominant. These charts show the yin and yang balance for various elements and items in your home.
This idea of yin and yang balance goes for us too. There are a couple of ways of determining if you are more yin or yang. The simplest way is to compare yourself to the following lists. Yang qualities. Yang is considered the male side of energy. Angry, easily frustrated, in control, shouts, ambitious, energetic, logical, precise, detailed, quick thinking, strong, fast, quick, athletic, and tough. You tend to be meat eaters and enjoy active, aggressive sports and using your brain in mathematical and logical ways. Yin qualities. Yin is considered the female side of energy. Peaceful, gentle, sensitive, depressed, imaginative, open thinkers, soft and supple. You tend to enjoy soft, sweet foods, more meditative exercises, slow-paced activities, and using your brain in creative, expressive ways. Naturally, you'll share characteristics of each energy, but one tends to dominate. Once you determine which energy best describes you, you'll know the types of things to surround yourself with to find a balance or enhance a particular energy. The five elements are used just for this purpose. The five elements. Nature is created by the five elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Everything in the universe is categorized within the bounds of the five elements. They in turn nurture, control, and reduce one another to create the harmony needed to achieve your goals. Yin and Yang energy is the foundation of the five energy sources or five elements. They're also based on time and seasons but include all the natural elements of earth. Wood energy is Yang energy and its season is spring. Wood elements are also represented by greenery, green items, tall, thin, columnar shapes, and items made of wood. This element gives life and healthy growth to an area. Fire denotes the growth period. Fire is absolute yang energy, and its season is summer. Fire elements are also represented by the color red, pyramid and triangular shapes, and of course, fire. This element denotes rapid growth, fame, and reputation. Earth denotes maturity. Earth energy is the most yin-yang balanced energy of the elements. Its season is Indian summer. Earth elements are represented by brown and yellow colors from eggshell to dark brown and with low, wide, horizontal, rectangular and square shapes. Objects made from the earth, such as clay, china, and brick, hold earth energy. Earth provides comfort, security, and harmony. Metal denotes decline. Metal is yang energy declining into yin energy, and its season is fall. Metal elements are represented by the colors white, silver, and gold, and round oval domed shapes. Metals and hard stones made by the earth provide metal energy that embodies creativity and procreation. Water denotes death and regeneration. It is the absolute yin energy of the five elements. Its season is winter. Water elements are represented by black and blue colors, as well as irregular, curved, and flowing shapes. Water, glass, and wavy shapes provide the tranquility, power, and depth of water energy. These elements exist within a cyclical framework. In nature, we find that these items create and destroy one another. This is the natural order of elements. We must understand their cycles so that we can balance the energy within our environments and use those items to achieve the things that we want. The cycles. The three cycles we're about to discuss are used in all the traditional arts of China, from acupressure to feng shui. Understanding the importance of the five elements cannot be underscored. The cycles of energy are nurturing, reductive, and controlling. In the nurturing cycle, the elements give birth to one another in a clockwise spiral. Wood creates fire, fire creates earth, earth creates metal, metal creates water, water creates wood. In the reduction cycle, 
The elements maintain balance and harmony by sharing their energy. This cycle is gentle and is used with confidence that it will not create more problems than it solves. Wood takes from and thereby reduces water energy. Fire reduces wood energy. Earth reduces fire energy. Metal reduces earth energy. Water reduces metal energy. In the control cycle, one type of energy dominates another to enforce balance. Because this is a powerful cycle, it is used only when absolutely necessary, as its effects can be dangerous to an environment. Wood controls earth. Earth controls water. Water controls fire. Fire controls metal. Metal controls wood. These are the eternal cycles where nature continually nurtures, reduces, and controls itself in order to maintain balance and continuity. You'll use these cycles over and over again as the foundation of your feng shui practice. Symbolism is used to interpret the details of our lives. Our surroundings reveal us. They symbolically reflect our inner life and our life experience. The ease of energy moving through our environment tells of our energetic movement through life. Where energy is stuck or stagnant, areas of our life will reflect that stagnation. What an item is saying is transmitted out to the world to attract like energy back to replicate itself in our life. This is the universal law of attraction. In practice, all of the feng shui schools interpret everything according to its symbolic significance. In fact, a feng shui practitioner takes stock of everything in his or her environment to decipher what it is saying and how it makes him or her feel. This is very important because an item that robs you of your power weakens you bit by bit. Items that nourish and support you strengthen your life, bringing health, wealth, happiness, and love in many, many ways. This is good. Take a moment right now and look around you. It's time to take emotional stock of your possessions. Do you have those just because items you keep for no good reason, such as gifts from a soured relationship? It is very important to interpret the items in your environment and understand what they are saying and what kind of energy they are drawing back into your life. Intention is defined as the special concentration of the will towards the accomplishment of a particular purpose. It is a key factor in the art of placement. Intention envelops an item in order to communicate itself to the outside world. Be aware of your intention and the intention that envelops the items in your environment. Intention is very important. It's linked with intuition. Your intuition is your inner voice. Developing and using your intuition and intention is an integral part of feng shui. For example, when you place an item in a particular energy area, your intention is to empower that object to work for you in creating desired change. Thank you for joining me and good luck with your feng shui practice.